Hey JUMC and welcome to today's staff moment. Today we have a special guest here with us. We have Pastor Josh Barnes. He is the pastor at Hopewell United Methodist Church, but he is also my husband and so I've asked him to join us for today's staff moment. Welcome Josh. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you everyone for allowing me to be here. Uh, the reason I'm here is uh, in part to share a bit of an announcement with you. Uh, uh, but before I do, I want to give you some backstory, uh, or a rather a way in, uh, that one of my favorite writers is Ernest Hemingway. And Hemingway, the great American writer that he was, was well known uh, for being a bit of a minimalist when it came to uh, the language he used in his stories. He used the, in other words, he used the, the least amount of words to communicate the most amount of meaning. In fact, he became very, very well known for this kind of writing. And he became so well known that at one point, so legend has it, uh, some of his friends got together and bet him that he couldn't write a story in only six words or less. And the way the story goes, that's in fact what he did when he sat down, he penned a story in just six words. And the story was, for sale, baby shoes, never worn. For sale, baby shoes, never worn. It's not exactly a happy story. In fact, it's really quite tragic. And it's really impressive that Hemingway was able to say it in, or to write it in six words or less, even. In fact, sometimes I think that I can. I could even one-up Hemingway's six-word story. I often tell people that I can tell the story in three words or less. Male factor infertility. Male factor infertility. That's my version of Hemingway's story. It's one that Wendy and I have lived with for five years. It's been the story that we have wrestled with telling and owning as people who have tried to conceive, to get pregnant, to have our own children for the last five years. And shortly, not so long ago, we were told that it would be all but impossible for me to father my own children. And yet... Our story has changed that God has chosen to rewrite our story. Back in July, I discovered that I am pregnant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, two, week, two days ago, I entered my second trimester. And so we are so excited to be welcoming a little girl into the world on March 5th. Mm -hmm. And so we rejoice and we praise God for this precious gift. And we, we, get, we can't wait for the chance to rejoice with all of you at the goodness of the Lord. But something we don't want to take away from in this announcement is that this journey of infertility that we've traveled on through the past five years is one that many people travel on. Um, a lot of people don't talk about infertility. It's not something many folks talk about. And so oftentimes we journey through it alone. And oftentimes Josh and I felt very alone in this journey, not knowing who we could talk with. And so we make this announcement excited, but also knowing that some of you listening today are journeying this very journey or have journeyed this journey and maybe your story has ended very differently and so we want you to know that we are here to support you and love you we are here to listen to your stories and listen to your journey because we know exactly what you are walking through so feel free to call me or come by my office anytime. I would love to talk with you, hear your story, and be a listening and encouraging ear as you walk through this as well. We hope, we thank you for taking the time to watch this today. We hope that you celebrate with us, and we also hope that you pray for all of those who are still journeying this very difficult journey. Y'all have a good day. Bye. Bye.